Hi, I'm JC. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm glad you're here. This is my garage. Today we're going to be fixing my garage door opener. A couple days ago I went to open my garage door and this is what I heard. Now, as you probably saw, the garage door is not opening, but we're hearing the motor running. So the problem is very likely that one of the gear parts in there is worn out and I need to replace it. Now here's the hard part. This is a 1940s house and that garage door opener was put in retroactively. So it's up in this very strange loft space up there. So I'm gonna do my best. I apologize for the strange lighting conditions, but I'm hoping this helps you. So if you're having the same problem where it's making noise, but it's not opening, rather than replacing the whole system, you can just replace a gear. And I'm pretty sure that's what the problem is. So let's go find out. I need to get up there. So let's get a, a ladder. First thing I'm gonna do is unplug it. I don't wanna pop myself. Okay, for those of you who don't know, I wanted to show you how simple a garage door opener really is. See, there's, it's like a bicycle chain and it spins. That spindle right there spins. It's attached to a motor. That's it. The motor just spins the, the chain and the chain pulls up the door. It's pretty simple. And mine is a Sears Craftsman. It's a super old one. So, but they all kind of do the same thing. You want to take off the housing on the outside. You're going to find these screws. There's usually at least four. One, two on the other side. Sometimes there's some on the bottom also. I'll have to look. See that white round gear in the back? That is the one that's worn out. You can see the edges of it are all gummy and gross. And this is all of the, the white powder here is all of the shavings of the plastic that have come off that gear there in the back. Okay, so I have taken the housing off and I'm now down underneath it looking up. I'm standing in the garage up on a ladder. Um, it's very clear that this is goopy. Like this plastic is really soft. In fact, I can like scrape it off with my knife. It's like two days later from when I started filming this. I am just avoiding it. Have you ever had those projects that you just avoid doing because it's just such a pain? This is not that difficult, but everything is just, it's cramped up there. It's cold out here. Everything is just, ugh, I'm gonna get grease all over everything. I don't know. I'm just in one of those moods and I don't feel like doing this. And I just thought I would share because I know sometimes <laughs> we all have these moments where doing home repair projects are not necessarily bringing our hearts joy and I'm having one of those days. So let's do this thing. We're gonna install this and we're gonna get this garage door opener working and uh, hopefully it won't take me too long. I have to loosen this chain in order to get it off the sprocket on the other end. So this bolt right here is the one I need to loosen. So I'm going to clamp a vice grip to this side to give me some leverage and then crank on this one. See how I have some play here I only go out maybe an inch. Do not try to take it off. This thing will pop. Don't do it. So just come to about, you know, give yourself maybe an inch of play, and then you should be able to pop the chain off the other end. Okay, I have the chain loose enough now that I am going to be able to lift this chain right off that sprocket. Okay, now that I got the chain off, I need to take this piece off and replace the whole thing. Uh, there's three screws, and I have to get to them from the bottom. You can't get to them from up here, so you have to go up through the uh, up through the bottom. So let's see how that goes. Okay, I got those three screws out. And that means this entire piece now pulls out. And all I have to do now is replace it and put those screws back in. Okay, this makes it pretty obvious. You can see how the old one is all garbled up. And all I'm gonna do is drop in this new one with the nice fresh teeth on it. Okay, so you're gonna need to put grease on your new 
on your new part here and oftentimes it will come with some grease. So you want to get it all nice and lubricated like so and then I'll get this piece later after I drop it in there. Back up the ladder we go. Okay so on this brand new piece I've already got the grease on it and of course it's going everywhere. Um, these for some reason the holes where these screws go in aren't threaded um, and the screws will not go in which is bizarre. I don't know why they wouldn't do that but they didn't. Alright, what that did as you can see is it it has given like now there's thread so when you go to put this screw in at that weird angle now you can get the screw in so huh, don't do what I did don't try and try and try and then get mad and not be able to do it just thread that to begin with okay moment of truth nice it's in there so now I just have to put the screws back in up. So you need to make sure when you install this that see these two rectangles right here and right here They need to be in line with the chain So if they're cattywampus, which is what I did I took these and went they were off anyway Make sure that these are in line. Otherwise things underneath aren't going to line up. Just a little clip Let's see if I put this thing together correctly Well, I got it all put back together and I accidentally created a new problem. Listen to this. Okay, what just happened was that when I turned it on and it was working fine, this is the carriage and the carriage got rammed up underneath this stopper bolt. And so what I have to do is back off the chain just a tiny bit unscrew it just a little to give me a tiny bit of slack and then when i turn it back on this carriage should be able to back off and then i can do some other adjustments going to be a couple of spots where you can make minor adjustments to either make it the carriage go one way or the other way um, exactly where you need it to be and you're definitely going to have to make those adjustments since we've taken the whole thing apart hey everybody thank you for joining me on that ride. Um, on my end, that was about a week. Um, I ended up with a faulty part. Uh, it was missing the clip that kept the rod from moving. And so when I was put in the new gear, it kept slipping. And anyway, it took me a long time of troubleshooting before I realized what the actual problem was. Once I got the correct, uh, a part that was not faulty, then I was able to put the whole thing together relatively quickly and everything works great now. Um, so as long as you have the right tools, if you have easy access to your garage door opener and you take your time and really just do it step by step, you'll be fine. Plan on taking you a couple of hours though, because you're bound to do something out of order and you're gonna get covered in grease like I did <laughs> probably. So thank you again for sticking with me and uh, I hope you have a little bit smoother luck than I did. Thanks. Bye. Hey baby, are you gonna come up here with me? You gonna come help me edit? Sorry, right, come on.